Okay, first what I want to show you guys is uh, a map that I have hanging on my wall. And it was uh, originally the Boston Public Library, as you can see the Boston Public Library stamp. Now this map is from uh, November the 15th of 1892. As you can see here, it says scientifically and practically correct as it is. And you can see the flat earth itself. And also you can see the ice wall around the flat earth. And that ice wall was named by the explorers who found it for thousands of years. Okay? And it's like I said, it's scientifically and practically correct. You have morning here, you have noon here, you have evening here, and you have night here. Now I want you to notice in Roman numerals we start at 1 and we end at 12, and then we start over again. So that's 12 hours the sun is on this half of the earth, and for the other 12 hours it's on this half of the earth, as you can see right here, it starts over one through 12. Now, a lot of people don't understand how the seasons work, but it's very, very simple. It tells you right here. Here's the winter solstice of December. Now, this right here is the North Pole. This is the center of the earth. This is the sun. Now, you notice how the sun is way out here? Okay, now let's go over here to the June solstice, which is the summer solstice. Notice how the sun is in closer. Right here, it's further out. And here, it's in closer. So here's how your seasons work. Now, if my finger is the sun, in the summer solstice, the sun is moving in a, in a closer orbit, a circular position. So in the United States, which is where I live, well, the sun is going over this during the summer, so it's hot here because the sun is right over you. And that's why in the Arctic, you have the 24-hour sun because, and the days are longer. You know why? Because the sun comes back around a whole lot quicker and the nights are really short. Now, in the wintertime, which right here, as you can see, the sun moves out. So when the sun moves back out here, what's well, making a longer circular so that's why your nights are longer. It takes the sun a lot longer to get back around here. And the sun is way out here instead of right here. So in the summertime, the United States is hot. Okay, but in the wintertime, it's cold. You know why? Because the sun's out here making its circle. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple. Now I want to show you a 1933 map that I also have. And this was the Hammond's Air Age map of the world. Now, what I want you to notice is that it's identical to the Flat Earth map. If you guys look at that really, really good. But also, here's what I really want you to notice. Notice how it says Antarctica up here. And then you have this white ice ring around it, which is the ice wall. And then down here at the bottom, it says Antarctica. So there's your ice wall with the longitude and latitude and the time zones marked on it. And these red lines that you see were the fly zones across the flat earth in 1933. Now, things hadn't been hidden yet in 1933. Now in 1958, the Antarctic Treaty was signed which banned all these maps that told the true world. For 5,000 years, this is all the maps that all the sailors all the airplane pilots, everybody went by. And all of a sudden, when NASA came in, the governments came in, they took all this stuff out because they hide history. They don't want you to know the truth about things. Now, also I have a map from the 1700s. And this is an Australian map. Now check this out. Okay, if we take the map, if, even though they posted it a little different, if we take the map and turn it this way, guess what? It's identical to the 1892 Flat Earth map. Just want you guys to see that. It's very, very simple, guys. Very, very simple. You've been lied to. You can either accept it or not accept it. If you don't want to accept it and keep living in your illusion, that's fine. But I just showed you proof of all the maps before 1958 when the Antarctic Treaty was signed by all the governments of the world to hide where we live.
So it is written in scripture right here in the book of Enoch, which is chapter 72, verse 37. It says, as he rises now in the Bible, he is the sun and she is the moon. As you can see, it says he rises. So he sets and decreases not and rests not, but runs day and night. And his light is sevenfold brighter than that of the moon. But as regards size, they are both equal, which means the sun and the moon are equal in size. Okay, now we're going to flip over here to chapter 77, uh, verse 3, out of the book of Enoch from the original Bible. And it says, now we're still talking about the sun and moon. It says, these are the two great luminaries. Their circumference, circumference is the size. It's like the circumference of the heaven. And the size, is, size of the circumference of both is alike. Which basically is telling you they're both the same size. The sun is not a million times bigger and 93 million miles out in space. And the moon is not 237,000 miles out in space. They're both the same size and the same distance away. That's why your common sense should tell you when you look up in the sky and they both look the same size, that's because they are. Now the last thing I want to show you is this right here. Now this is in the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, actually Deuteronomy 34, the last page right before the book of Joshua in the Bible. Now you're not going to find this in the modern Bible, but if you can find any Bible before 1958, back when they showed pictures in the Bible, here's what you're going to find. This is what you see right here. This is the flat earth. You have the waters above the firmament, you have the firmament of the heaven, and you have the sun and the moon underneath that firmament. And then as you can see right there to your left and right, those are the ice walls on the outer side of the earth. And then your shoal, which is down at the bottom, which of course is in Hebrew is hail. So uh, before you guys, a lot of globers get on and says, oh, well, the Bible doesn't say the earth is flat. Well, you know what? Look in a Bible that's not modern. Look in the old Bibles before the governments went in them and cut them out. Just do a little research. Thanks for watching, guys.